What? It is not meant to work this well. In 1953, Leo Fender created a prototype of the Fender Stratocaster. In almost 70 years, that design has barely changed. The Fender Stratocaster guitars produced now have the same bridge design, have the same shape body and neck, and to the casual observer, is no different. In those 70 years, we've gone to the moon and back. We've created the internet. We have potato waffles. Life has changed so much, and yet the Stratocaster has not. In this series of videos, I'm going to explore the original designs of different guitars and see where modern technology can improve what history has given us. Previously, I created the ultimate pickup and what an achievement it was. But in this part, I want to look at the whammy bar. The whammy bar works by changing the length of the scale and this reduces or increases the tension on the strings, allowing the player to vary the pitch of each string. If we can automate this somehow, this will allow me to take my guitar playing to brand new ground. So I found these motors online and it's some type of giant vibration motor, similar to what would cause a phone to vibrate or it's a handheld controller. No idea why anyone would need them this big, but moving on. So my plan is to attach this to the whammy bar and it'll automatically shake the whammy bar at a regular frequency. To achieve this, I've designed a 3D printed enclosure. So let's print this and see what it looks like. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be good fun. We need to get this on the guitar. Okay, so this works really well, but I want to make a couple of small improvements. One is I want more movement. A bigger motor with more weight will be good. And thankfully, I found this. This has got weights at both ends. I have no idea what these are used for. And I really want to be able to change the speed. So I've added this little speed controller circuit. And this allows me to control the speed from off to a reasonably fast speed. I've designed a new case for this. So once more, let's get this printed and let's see what this looks like. This needs to get on the guitar. Okay, so let's turn it on. Oh wow, this is working so well. One thing I find really interesting is with this whammy system is that it does have a point of resonance where we can get a really high amplitude. But yeah, let's get this plugged in and see what this sounds like. I think this works really well. It definitely works better than I expected. What are your thoughts? Put them in the comments. And if you want to see where we take this to the next level, make sure to subscribe. Until then, 